Hey guys, and welcome to another Let's Fail with me, Nan Reimer from Right Gaming. Uh, the game that I'll be failing for you today is none other than Path of Exile, an action RPG dungeon crawler from Kiwi indie developers, Grinding Gear Games. You can see here that I'm trying to <laughs> delete some horribly named characters that I've made uh, <laughs> during my time in Path of Exile. Like to fear me. Uh, let me just say that a cameras. lot of names that normally aren't taken were taken. It's like weird Japanese ones too that I was using. But uh, I digress. So here's the opening uh, screen for Path of Exile. And we'll see the, the six different classes that you can take on. You can't own a life. You've got this guy's your your very in close melee fighter. You've got your ranger here, who's well a ranger, and as you can see, uses a bow and arrow. And uh, today I'm going to play um, a bit of this old man for you. This is a Templar, and he can be played as either. Uh, and how melee. My I'm naming him my Cy Cyborg Chit Jam because it kind of looks like him. Or you can class. also play him as I know now an intelligence character, which I'll try tools. and show you guys in game. Now it's probably a little hard to hear since I have a habit of talking over all the really important parts, but um, each of the six characters that you can choose to play in Path of Exile do have their own unique story. The one thing that does tie them all together though is that they're all exiles because well this is path of exile and much like uh, Australia was back in the day this is a penal colony to say the, l the least it's pretty much where people are sent to die horrible horrible deaths and then all of a sudden zombies which well, zombies are the thing now so no surprise Even there. Death gives you can see no on the ground here, um, land. what's dropped is a gem, but it's actually a skill gem. And if you look at my weapon, I have these uh, colorful slots. And the red gem, as you can see, I can remove it and put it back in, goes in the red slot. So I now have a skill, which I can activate with my right click, uh, my right mouse click. Uh, and I'll show you. Use it a bit here. And I probably should have gone with a, a bit more of a exciting character than a old man in a diaper and tunic. But, okay, well that's what you get. Now control-wise, if you've ever played an ARPG before, whether it Torchlight 2 or Diablo 2, even D3, which I don't like mentioning, but any I will, it, it's pretty much exactly the same. Uh, you hold shift if you want to stand in place and shoot. I don't have any ranged spells at this time, but you'll just have to trust me on that, I guess. Uh, and then you move around by, by clicking on an area on the map. Now, uh, I normally play ranged characters in this, in this type of game, because, well, I haven't really seen an ARPG do a melee character really really well. So taking a lot of damage here. Apologize for that. Luckily the potions though in in Path of Exile work a little differently where you don't have to buy like 99 <laughs> potions and hoard them. Uh, so you can go ahead use your potion and it'll take away a charge which you can refill by killing enemies. Which is awesome. I hate paying for potions. So it's it's great for cheap ass like myself. Yeah, I, I admit it. I was like one of those people in Final Fantasy that kept like 99 of each potion type, even though you'd never, you know, I never use them. Like the the starting potions, why would I ever need that on my level 99 character? But you know, I di I digress. As in fighting here, you can see the the lightning flashing. The way it highlights the, the ground, the water, it, the game looks really great. Uh, you don't you don't even need the highest spec computer to run it. it. It's just it's really gorgeous. And the thing is, I'm not sure if you guys know this, but this is a free to play game with ethical transactions. So for this high quality, no, that's that's not really something you'd get. 
Let me just uh, like leveled up no here. For no. my company just Try yet. and show you guys how the skill system works, or the skill web, I should say. Skill is good. I don't want him, you know, jacking me when I'm looking through. Here's my inventory screen, which can open up with an eye. Uh, I think I have it set to auto-equip any new loot I get. Oops, the options. All right, here it is. The skill web. Look at that thing. Bam. It's like the Matrix. I know I said that before. It's totally Final Fantasy X. Look at it. But it's huge. <laughs> there are so many friggin' choices. And uh, it's huge and daunting at first. I'm not going to lie. When I first saw it, I was like, uh, how do I mind fish? But you know, once, once I got accustomed to it, it offers a lot of different choice in how you want to build your character. Now this guy in particular, I could build him as a straight melee guy, or I could also take the the northern path and go the route of intelligence and make him a caster, but I'm going to do melee. Not that you can really see, but I'm going to go melee. There's a couple of the different skill trees. Like for my witch, uh, she has some choices where she can, she can be a, a necro type character. Or she can go straight spells. So every every class has these these branches that you can take to really kind of you know adjust and fit to your playstyle. And uh, well, yeah, here's a tab to open the map, which looks a little <laughs> primitive, I guess. It reminds me of a uh, wizardry, <laughs> the old days. It's a terrible wireframe, but. Anyhow, that's what you get. At least there is a map map. When I played in closed beta, there was none. And I'm not sure if you caught that, but even though it looks like the same armor, there are different qualities to each armor. And just like in any other ARPG, the random, uh, I guess, magical effects also vary. So make sure that you identify everything you get with your wisdom spell, not identify spell. And... Just make sure that even if it's a plain piece of armor, that it doesn't have, you know, a higher quality make. Now you'll see that something just popped up on my screen, uh, the right under the the mini map in the top right corner there, and you can actually in this game level up the level of your skill gem, and uh, I think probably have to kill a couple more of these guys to do so. And obviously by leveling it up, you know, you're making it stronger. Just make sure that you have the proper stats and level to use it. Uh, it's possible because if, if you notice my weapon there, I just leveled up. If you notice my weapon, I was actually able to equip green and blue gems. And red is strength, which is when I'm making my main. Uh, blue is intelligence, green is dex. Now I could potentially put any kind of skill I want into these colorful slots, but if I don't have the proper stats to use it, because I'm obviously not a, a dex character, then, then I'm obviously not going to be able to use something that requires a bunch of agility. Um, the other thing to, to keep in mind is that some skill gems will not work depending on what uh, weapon you use. Uh, I think I do get one later, so I'll try and show you guys that. But, uh, like if I switch to a staff or if I switch to a hatchet or a bladed weapon, it's the first loot pinata in the game, uh, I wouldn't be able to use like my ground slam for, for example. And yeah, I thought I could get a little cute there and kind of hit and run, hit and run like East, but nope. I'm just gonna stand there and take it like a old man in a diaper. I have to <laughs> run off a bit while my health recoups. And then I'm back to, to face tanking this uh, hillock, apparently. There he goes, and there you go. My first loot explosion. 
Let's see, I have a couple items that I need to identify. So I'm gonna look through them and use one of my scrolls. Right click. That's not bad, actually. I don't remember ever giving blues in my other characters. Anyhow, that was the, the hillock, and he was also my very first quest, so I'm gonna head over to town. And you can access the quest screen with you. And here we go. There's a pretty little loading screen here. And you're gonna see some pretty familiar things in town. Notice I, I got lost, even though I've done this how many times? The stash! Ta-da! Let's see some of my ill-gotten gains in there. And like many other ARPGs, of course, every item you get has certain colors associated with, with it. So we start out, there's the grays, the whites, um, which are Welcome just you know, worthless, you kind of sell them for, for trash, worth. money. I'm and then you have the blues, the which are magical, uh, followed by, in this game, yellow and orange, I believe, orange Zeeple's being the unique, the, the most I'm powerful, much, but it's sometimes a little odd in their stats, but but usually the most awesome. Oh, and uh, I'm going to show you, I guess, the kind of odd thing about Path of Exile, not really odd, but instead of selling your items for gold, you are actually bartering them for items. So there I sold my four pieces of trash for four fragments of a Judging wisdom scroll. And with five of them, I can island. make them into oh. one wisdom scroll. Uh, I think this guy... But you can then thing. trade those items for, for armor or weapons and the so on. Obviously, as you level up, the That's price the of armor of and weapons gets up. significantly <laughs> higher. So instead of one fragment of a scroll, a you might be paying gone, two or three whole beach. wisdom scrolls. Mm, like upright, shuffling about. I'm gonna show you a, a little close-up of my of my dude. As you can see, when he picks up. You know, different weapons and armor, they will immediately be reflected. The time and the place. in, in closed beta, there wasn't a lot of variety, but I'm already seeing Fine that. Work with that that's that's changed that. here. Get my reward for my for slaying the hillock, and I can pick a gem. The walls of this old ruin. Here's an example of the shop for you, and the sort of things that you need to trade. Um, to, to buy the items in, the, in them. And obviously here's the magical items cost a whole lot more than a plain item. And take that new gem. I can socket it into armor as well. As long as I have the socket, I can use it. And that spell went straight to my middle mouse spine, so I'll see if I can use that for you. And uh, I, I won't my be able to really show it to you in this playthrough because this is only the first 20 minutes or so, but later on you get passive gems as well, which you can link to a spell. So, for example, uh, one of my passives on my witch is a, like, plus 50 to critical strike. So I put that on my uh, fireball spell, and uh, it, def it links straight to it. So I'm getting that 50% critical on my fireball. <laughs> and I'm sorry about that stuttering just now. I was getting my ass whooped on by a bunch of zombie thingies. And I hate, I hate, you know, as melee, that's that's what I can't stand is the range always picking on me. Some bastards. Oh yeah, and as in any other game, fire is really, really bad. Especially in the early stages when you don't have a lot of weapons or armor or or any skill at all. So try and avoid it at all costs. There you go. I, that's what happens when you get burned. And it hurts. So I had to pot there. Funny story about fire. Um, I, we killed one boss, and me and my friends, and once it exploded into loot, he was just standing there kind of looking at his 
inventory and managed to, to die right in the fire. <laughs> He's too busy being a, a greedy little bastard. And you see those little grids in my inventory? Uh, that's right. Loot, loot, I'm sorry, inventory Tetris is back. So you definitely want to learn to maximize all your spots. What I did there, I equipped a, uh, a hatchet instead. I just took the gem out, put, put the new one in, put it into the new hatchet. But, you know, I can't use my skills. I can't use two of my skills, so unfortunately, I'm going to move it back in. But, but that is a nice thing, that depending on the situation, I can just kind of you know, change my setup right on, right on the spot. Right now the enemies are pretty much chumps, but later on you'll f you'll find some that are, you know, very resistant to fire. So I just carry a lightning spell with me or an ice spell with me. I you know, pop it in when I have to fight them, and then pop it out when I'm just fighting trash. Once again, in, in retrospect, uh, I probably shouldn't have picked the Templar to play. I'm going to show you guys the game, because, you know, to be very honest, in the beginning, My the melee characters are, are pretty boring to look at. They just don't have have any skills yet. Like, I, I can't even break a, a barrel, a stationary barrel. So, yeah, uh, the main gist is... I kill stuff, it drops me loot, and I squeal happily when I get a unique or yellow. I mean, there, there's really no surprises. It's it's an action RPG through and through. Um, I mean, other than the skill system, which I think is, is super in innovative and great, uh, this is a very true um, homage, I guess, to Diablo 2. It's got that dark atmosphere, it's got the gameplay, but the gameplay, the, the thing that makes Path of Exile awesome for a free game, and or actually for any game, is that it's so well done. It, it takes exactly what you expect and it polishes and refines it. And if you, and you, if you love loot, you know, what, what more could you ask for? Well, I guess like, you can ask for loot, because that chest doesn't have anything in it. Whatever, you, you'll get that sometimes. But for the most part, bosses and the like will drop oodles and oodles of delicious, colorful rainbow loot. But when I look at my Templar, though, I kind of feel bad, because it's like I'm making my grandpa like run around and collect twigs and kill monsters. It's not fair. So, you know what? You know what? I will hop onto my witch. You can do that very easily with a switch here. Yeah, that, that is a terrible um, email address. <laughs> uh, so here's my witch, and she's a little higher, and her spells are a little more exciting to look at. Her outfit is pretty terrible, but at least she'll be sparkly. So here we have my witch. She looks like Cher, back when Cher was pretending to be like a Native American or whatever. And you'll also notice that the scenery's changed. Um, you're not stuck with the same static dungeons all the time. There are a lot of variations and a lot of different mob types, types too. Here's a, a little bit of the ranged play. And I actually built her to be more of a necro. So I'm going to raise my my army of zombies here. Now the thing with having a lot of mana is that you also get a energy shield. That's that kind of blue moon-like thing on my health bar there, or my health bubble. So the, the mobs have to get through that energy shield before they can actually get to me. Uh, even if you're a strength character, you can pick up items that grant you the shield. It's, it's just so much nicer on a my little mage here. Sorry, my witch. And the blue stuff floating around me like an option, like <laughs> from, from Gradius or something. It's it's my my critical strike buff, I guess. There are there are buffs in this game as well, which you can equip. 
you can you can just have those buffs going all the time passively. It's really nice when you have a, a big group. The difficulty of the map increases, the, the loot drops are better. And it's just it's just a whole lot more fun. And once in town there's a a board, a bulletin board, where you can actually find parties and group up with random strangers as well. And for the truly masochistic, there's also a hardcore mode where, you know, it's one one death and you're out. So there's PvP coming. Actually, I haven't tried the PvP yet, because I'm a little too low and I have kind of shitty gear. But there is PvP and there's supposed to be some competitive PvP um, in the game as well. So if that's something that you guys would prefer. Too much clutter. Something that I should mention though that, that does annoy a lot of people is that you must be online to play Path of Exile. So if you don't have an internet connection, you're kinda screwed. They have a I guess they have a they have sound reasoning for that. Having having you online all the time leads to fewer hacks. That's a whole write up that they did. Pulling up. Too much clutter. At any rate, though, I I can tell that this this is getting a little long. My egg timer has already gone off. So this is Path of Exile from Grinding Gear Games, and if you like it, you know, go give them a look see. Come Jan 23rd when they go into open beta, uh, the game will be free. So definitely, I mean, there's no reason not to try it out. It do, it it don't cost no money for this quality, no. So, uh, try it out. Look for me, I'm probably going to be uh, Ixa on the game. Or you can find me at rankgaming.com to read my articles. Um, and you can also tweet me at nanrimer. So, yeah, check those out. <laughs> Give me some hits. And <laughs> uh, thanks for watching and listening in as always. And I hope to see you next time.